Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a lens is a transparent medium bounded by two surfaces with one or both surfaces being spherical. The focal length of a lens is determined by the radius of curvature of its two surfaces and the refractive index of its medium with respect to that of the surrounding medium. The power of a lens is reciprocal of its focal length if a number of lenses are kept in contact, the power of the combination is the algebraic sum of the powers of the individual lenses. And the question based on this particular paragraph is a double convex lens with each face having same radius of curvature R is made of a glass of refractive index N. Its power is and the given options are option A 2 bracket N minus 1 upon R, option B, 2N minus 1 upon R, option C, N minus 1 upon 2R, and option D, 2N minus 1 upon 2R. So the problem is based on the topic lenses, and in particular, the combination of lenses, and the power, and different uh, parameters of the lenses are related. It is said that the power is the reciprocal of the focal length, and when the lenses are kept in contact, then their respective powers add up. So this particular problem is based on the relationship between power, the refractive index and R, the radius of curvature. So we have to learn this particular relationship that the power of the lens, a double convex lens, is given by 2 times n minus 1 upon R. So this option is correct here, 2 bracket n minus 1 upon R. We have to remember this relationship for a double convex lens. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you. So the second question based on this particular paragraph is a double convex lens of power P with each face having same radius of curvature is cut into two equal parts perpendicular to its principal axis. The power of one part of the lens will be option A 2P, option B P, option C 4P and option D P by 2. So it is said that in this particular problem that suppose we have a lens having a power of P and it is cut into two equal parts perpendicular to the principal axis. So for example, this is the principal axis, then this is the perpendicular direction. It means that the lens is cut in this particular manner. Then we know that the power is halved, power is 1 by 2 of the original power if it is symmetrically cut along the perpendicular direction with the principal axis. So we can say that the individual power of each part is P by 2. So we can say that option D is correct here, which is P by 2. P by 2 is the power of the individual part. So we understand the solution. Thank you. Now this is the question in continuation with the previous problem. In this particular question, the above two parts are kept in contact with each other as shown in the figure. The power of the combination will be, and the given options are, option A P by 2 option B P, option C 2 P and option D P by 4. So in the previous problem, as we have discussed, if a particular lens is cut into two equal parts along the perpendicular direction with the principal axis, then they look like this. And as we have discussed earlier, the individual powers are P by 2 and P by 2 each. When such parts are kept in series like this, then what is the combination of this particular arrangement? So we have to remember that when they are placed in contact with each other, their individual powers get added. So we can say that the overall, the total power of this combination is given by P by 2 plus P by 2, which is equal to P. So the total power is P. So we can say that option B is correct here. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you. So the fourth part of this particular problem is a double convex lens of power P with each face having same radius of curvature is cut along the principal axis. The two parts are arranged as shown in the figure. The power of the combination will be and the given options are option A 0, option B P, option C 2 P and option D P by 2. So in continuation with the previous problems, as we have said in the previous problems, we have cut the particular lens in such a manner that this is the 
perpendicular direction with the principal axis. But now, in this particular case, it is said that the lens is cut into two pieces such that it is along the principal axis and they are placed in such a manner as shown in this particular figure. So we know that uh, in this particular case, when these two particular lenses are kept in the particular manner, then the combination is having the total power as the sum of the individual powers and each is having a power of P. So we can say that the total power is 2P. So the answer is 2P. Option C, 2P is the final answer. Okay. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.